Fee fi fo fum. Who's that? Oh, this is the giant green sea anemone, also known as Anthophora xanthogramica. They are large sea anemones that live in tidal pools on rocks in the western coast of the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Spiron craters can expand to 17 centimeters in diameter and grow up to 30 centimeters tall. The giant green sea anemones happen to have tiny roommates that live within them. These roommates are algae, part of the groups Zucarellae and Zuzanthellae. The little tenants in the sea anemone form a mutualistic relationship where the algae gain protection from within the anemone's gut lining and Anthophora xanthogramica gains nutrients digested from the algae that would otherwise be lost. That's one way to pay rent. The mutualistic relationship is very important, but there's a possibility that this relationship has been strained due to ocean temperatures rising. Typically, Anthophora xanthogramica resides in waters with temperatures that range from 12 degrees Celsius to 26 degrees Celsius. It's been found that giant green sea anemones with only Zucarillae tend to inhabit colder waters, and those with only Zuzanthellae are found in warmer waters. A study done in the 1980s by Timothy L. O'Brien and Charles R. Weitenbach, it was discovered that when the Zucarillae from the sea anemones were exposed to 20 degrees Celsius, they had a decline in meiotic activity, meaning not as many algae cells were reproducing. With there being a less abundance of their algal buddies inside, the giant green sea anemones were losing the number of nutrients required for them to properly function. A loss of nutrients can also lead to the sea anemones starving. Not only is the sea anemones loss of nutrients detrimental to themselves, but to the tidal pool communities they inhabit as well. Flora xanthogramica has a multitude of ecological roles, with one being a significant character in the tidal pool's food webs. These anemones feed on a host of organisms ranging from sea urchins, small fish, crabs, and mussels. They are also preyed upon by multiple predators like sea spiders, sea slugs, sea snails, and large crabs. These anemones can also create shelter from the shells of the former prey for organisms like hermit crabs. Giant green anemones don't only help marine organisms, but they also have a positive economic role for humans. Like other anemones, giant green anemones possess nematosis, and the venom from these cells has been very useful in developing pharmaceutical drugs. The venom has been used to produce anthropurin A and anthropurin B, a heart stimulant that strengthens the heart's contractions but doesn't change the rhythm. Protease inhibitors like ASP I1 and 2 have also been extracted and have been shown to be responsive to damaging enzymes that is produced by the pancreas. Giant green sea anemones are not only super fun to look at due to their vibrant color and larger than normal size, but they are very helpful organisms. From housing tiny zucarellae and zuzanthellae, to being used to produce medicine for humans, these anemones are important to a multitude of organisms without even meaning to. The next time you're on the coast, maybe stop and take a few minutes to visit our philanthropic buddies, the giant green sea anemones.